Hello guys, this is a very special Feta. In fact, this is the second Feta that I had ever bought. And of course, I had uh, restored the outside of this. When I got it, it was very dark. It almost looked black because that varnish was so dark. Uh, I sanded it and uh, did a light stain and uh, put a sealer on it. This, my friends, is a Feta Grand Neutrola. It's got the uh, the horn speaker up there at the top, in which I have also replaced the uh, cloth. This does have real wood inlay, and this Feta is from 1925, um, I recall. It's the uh, letter desk type. This is very rare, very, very hard to get. And uh, I've only seen one other one on eBay in the past several years. You know, video just doesn't do it justice, but this thing is amazing. And it's, it's so big. It's, it's um, really surprising how big and heavy this thing is. Here's the back of the Feta. And with all of my uh, 1920s radios, I've made a, a wire harness that plugs up to my, um, my battery eliminator. This one I have not electrically restored this, so this has um, all the original uh, capacitors. And hiding back there is a uh, 5 millifrad uh, capacitor. I think this one only has one of those, maybe. Uh, you know what, this one has three. Three of the five millifrad capacitors. And they're uh, pretty big. So, when I get around to it, I'll replace it and I'll get better sound out of this. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, I've hooked up uh, a small wire for antenna and a small wire for ground. They made this big with a shelf so that way you could put your batteries in here. Yeah, it's kind of dark, so you may not be able to see, but here's part of the uh, horn. Alright, so I'm going to put the uh, battery eliminator up on top of it, plug it in, and uh, we'll give it a try. Okay, as you can see, my uh, battery eliminator, I had uh, made it where it uh, fits in with, uh, with those Fetas. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Of course, the better the ground, the better the sound, and this ground's not uh, as good as it could be. To give you a little perspective, I put my daughter next to the radio. You can just see how big that thing is. And uh, we used to listen to baseball on this a lot. In fact, that's what's on right now. Tori, do you like that radio? Yes. How much? 100. 100. More than 100. Well, guys, you heard it. It's uh, mother tested and kid approved. Or whatever. <laughs> This radio cost 
three hundred and fifty dollars back in nineteen twenty five. Now think about that. Three hundred and fifty bucks. How much did people get paid an hour back in nineteen twenty? So as you can imagine, it was a toss up for people who had money. Should I buy a car or should I buy a radio? It's pretty amazing to think about that. But uh, this is my one of my babies and extremely rare. So tell me what you think. I always uh, appreciate your comments. Have a great day.